Chris Chibnall makes his first direct contribution to Doctor Who with today's story, and it's a real scorcher. Welcome to the Time Treadmill. I'm Ron, and these are my sweaty thoughts about Doctor Who. Chris Chibnall was one of the major contributors to the first season of Torchwood. He helped shape the entire design of the show, and his stories there are anywhere from okay to pretty darn good to eh, not as good. But I think a lot of that comes down to first season trying to find its identity. And of course, Chris Chibnall will go on to become the showrunner for Doctor Who with the 13th Doctor era and Jodie Whittaker. But this moment right here in 2007, this is his first contribution to the Doctor Who television series itself with 42. Now, if you remember back in the early 2000s, one of the biggest television shows at the time was 24, with Kiefer Sutherland fighting terrorists in real time, every episode being one hour in time and every season being exactly 24 hours in time. And Chibnall used that as the inspiration for this story, flipping 24 to 42, being the average running time of a Doctor Who episode. Well, actually, it's closer to 45, but once you pack on the opening credits and closing credits and other bits and bobs, you wind up with pretty much 42 minutes of actual story time in a given script. And so he scripts this story in near real time, with Martha and the Doctor arriving in the TARDIS on a spaceship that is on a crash course into a sun. And in just over 42 minutes, everyone will be dead. And from there, the story propels forward in real time. And it's pretty darn close to real time. If you're watching the clock, it never fluctuates by more than eh, 15 or 20 seconds, which I think is well within the bounds of narrative structure and the real time conceit. And that kind of ticking clock gives a real sense of urgency to this story. Bear in mind that this story aired after a two-week break during the airing of Series 3. Those two weeks were when Eurovision happened that year, and pretty much everything in Europe stops for two weeks during Eurovision, and that is what it is. So this kicks off the back half of the season and kicks off my single favorite run of episodes in modern Doctor Who history. Although this one may not be my absolute favorite by any stretch, it is a rock-solid episode that is watchable from start to finish and thoroughly enjoyable. It's certainly Chris Chibnall's best contribution to the Doctor Who universe to date. And it also continues to cement Martha's particular faith in the Doctor, which will become vitally important during the series finale. On the whole, I thoroughly enjoy the story both on its own merits and both for where it's positioned in the larger narrative and the flow of episodes for the remainder of the season. And it was an absolute joy to be on the treadmill. I actually hit three full miles on the treadmill for the first time in ages. The story just kept me pumped and going the whole time. It's, it's the Doctor Who equivalent of being out jogging and listening to high tempo rock and roll or techno music while you're running to keep your BPM up. It's a, a rip roaring ride and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now tomorrow, tomorrow is not just a good story. Tomorrow and the next story are arguably the single finest two hours of Doctor Who in history. This easily ranks as my favorite story of all time, and I am so looking forward to getting to it. So, I'll see you tomorrow.